Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Nook color using the auto neuter method. Okay, before you begin, you must have an external SD card reader. Don't use the Nook color to do uh, the part of this procedure that we tell you not to use the Nook color. Um, basically, you could go to Walmart or Best Buy or any of those places, and for under five bucks, you can get a little USB SD card reader. Um, it'll come with the USB, the SD adapter, so that you can put your micro SD card, uh, memory card, into it, and then into the USB, and then plug it into your computer. We need that because otherwise, uh, the part that we're going to do it won't write to the SD card correctly, and then it won't work. Okay, next, in order to get certain things working like the market and YouTube, etc., you must have a Gmail account and you must have a YouTube account and they must be linked together. So, in other words, get a Gmail account if you don't already have one uh, and then go to YouTube, sign up for an account and use that same Gmail as your account email for YouTube. This will link the two of them together and then you can continue. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to check your version number. It's where it's up on the arrow, settings, device info about your Nook color and you see here software version if it says 1.0.1 .1 or 1.1.0 you can just continue to section 2 if it says 1.0.0 like this one does then we need to upgrade the device first before we can continue okay so again if you're on version 1.0.0 you're gonna need to do uh, sections A through J uh, before you continue to section 2. If you're on version 1.0.1 .1 or 1.1.0 then you can skip this and go straight to section 2. So since our Nook is on 1.0.0 we're going to go here to A and download this file and save it to our computer. Somewhere where we can find it later leave it as the name that it is, which should be sideload underscore update dot zip, and leave it as a zip file, and wait for that to save. Okay, so after that's downloaded, we're going to plug in our Nook. We're also going to make sure it has 20% battery or more. And when you plug it in, you're going to see uh, your computer, it should, if it has an SD card in it, you'll see removable disk, that's the SD card. Media is the actual device itself, so you actually want to click on that, not the SD card and we're going to take our .zip file update and drag it over and copy it to the media drive uh, and you don't want to unzip it and you don't want to put it inside any of these folders just leave it as a .zip and not inside any of these folders and then we can continue okay once that's done transferring we're going to unplug the Nook okay after you unplug the Nook, um, you tap the button to put into sleep mode manually, uh, and then after a little bit, it should automatically start to update itself, and you'll see this screen. Let it go. Do not interrupt it. Do not turn it off, and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done, the Nook should automatically reboot itself. Okay, now that we're on the appropriate uh, firmware that we need to be on, we can get to the fun part, which is actually rooting the device. So, we're going to download the auto neuter file for our software version. If you're on 1.0.1, .1, click on this one. If you're on 1.1.1, .1, click on this one. Uh, at the time of doing this video, it's labeled as coming soon, but this will be updated eventually. So, we're on 1.0.1. .1. We're going to click on this, download that, and save it to your computer. Okay, and then after that's downloaded, we're going to download a program called WinImage, which is what we're going to use to write that image file that we downloaded to our SD card. So, click here to download that. Uh, and then download the latest one. This one should be fine. Save that to your computer as well. Okay, so now we need to extract this image.zip file. So we're going to right click it, extract all, extract. Okay, and then there should be a folder now, and inside should be a .img file. Okay, so now we're going to take our USB micro SD reader. Um, so this is basically what that is. It's got a USB on one end. On the other end, we have either an SD card with a slot for our micro SD card. See, fits in like that. Or you might have one of these that actually takes the micro SD cards uh, into it directly. Either way, I'm going to put that in there. 
Make sure we put this in the right direction. And then close it up and go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to take that USB uh, drive with the micro SD card inside of it, put it into the computer, and then we're going to click on the exe file for the win image that we downloaded earlier. Click run. We're going to follow the installation procedures to install it. Okay, after we've installed WinImage, we're going to go to our C drive, program files, WinImage, right click winimage.exe and hit run as administrator. If you're using an older version of Windows, then you might not have this option, just double click it. Click OK. And we're going to go to disk, restore virtual hard disk image on physical drive, select our SD card reader, click OK. And we're going to change this down here to all files so we can see the .img file that we extracted earlier. Click on that. Click open. It's going to ask are you sure. Say yes. And just so you know, this will erase anything on the SD card. So you should have backed that up before you clicked on this. Select OK. Close that and just wait for it to write the disk. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to actually turn off our nook color by holding down the power button and saying power off. And while that's turning off, we're going to unplug our SD card reader from the USB slot. Okay, then while the nook is off, we're going to put that SD card into its SD card slot. Just pain in the ass because of the way they designed this stupid thing. Okay. Once that's in and the nook is still off, we are going to then plug the nook in via USB cable. And this will cause it to turn on. Okay, just a fair warning, it may take a while for it to boot up and it may just have a black screen for a while, so just leave it. Um, and then eventually you'll you'll know when it's working because you'll have a very interesting boot image uh, with the word color being really colorful. Um, so wait for it to continue booting up and then we can, once it's fully booted up and it's bringing you to the sign-in page, then we can unplug it and go to the next step. Okay, eventually you'll be greeted by this screen. So we're going to tap the little Android to continue. Uh, it's going to say learn how to do it. I'm going to say skip. When you get to the sign in, do not sign in. Hit skip. Uh, make sure that use my location and allow Google are both checked. On. Then we're hit next. Wait for it to bring up the home screen. Okay, so once you are on the home screen, uh, you're going to go to tap this tab, extras, go to YouTube. And now with YouTube open, we're going to tap the little soft key button, which is a little arrow button up there. And then we're going to tap the menu button. And this will let us click my channel, add account. And then you're going to sign in using your Google account that is also linked to your YouTube. Okay, once you log in, you're going to click allow. That should give you your YouTube account. Okay, and now we're going to exit YouTube, so click the home button, and we're going to open extras again, and now go to our Gmail account, hit menu, accounts, add an account, and click the G up at the top for a Google account, next, already have one, sign in. And remember, this has got to be the same email that is attached to your YouTube account. Okay, once you're done setting that up, it'll show the account here. It'll say not synced. Don't worry about that. Not a big deal. Tap the soft keys button now. Oops. Home. Now we're going to go to extras again. And it's the last thing we got to do. We're going to go to the market. Click accept for the terms and services. for the market to load. 
Okay, once this loads, you're all set. Okay, and the last thing we gotta do is reformat the SD card back to a regular SD card. So we're gonna go to settings, device info, SD card, unmount, format, format, And that's it. Now you have your regular SD card back, you're running uh, stuff with the market, etc. And you can go on to the next step to either load a ROM or you can just leave the nook like this and play with it as is. Enjoy!